Hey guys, welcome to another video. How are you guys doing? If you're new, hey, do not forget to smash that subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I really, really appreciate it. Okay, so I'm excited, and I guess you guys can tell. Okay. I'm so excited because I'm gonna show you guys books I got and also I got a Kindle and also I got some other things too but the elephant in the room is the Kindle okay so let's firstly talk about my Kindle I got this Kindle I think two days ago and I was so excited to receive it you need to see how joyful I was like I got the Kindle paper white the 16 gig agave green color as you see I already posted my unboxing on Instagram so if you want to see that Please go check it out right now i'm reading my roommate's a vampire on it and i had i have to say i have to say this book is killing me i i love it so much it's so funny i'm reading and i'm smiling all seat like stop stop <laughs> when i say that this book is very funny look at this part where the vampire is writing how do you kiss if it has been 100 years since is this is such history and it's like can you know if she wants to kiss you is it a bad idea to kiss your roommate <laughs> that not funny but this particular book is not on kingdom unlimited so yeah so i'm going to tell you guys the particular books i have here and the ones that could kill you or not my room is a vampire mother in the family i just hope this is not actually a horror book because if it's horror i'm not going to read it the dead romantics uh is not on ku the seven year sleep is also not on ku but i want to read them and i've been waiting for the physical copies to enter nigeria but they have not gotten to nigeria and i don't want to order online so kindle to the rescue yeah all these books are actually very very popular never like mind fox series darling venom black sheep hunting adeline and hunting adeline hunting and hunting adeline. i don't know the sweetest oblivion the housemaid oh my god you guys the housemaid and the housemaid secret i read the housemaid already out on a limb my high how does it feel cooked so these are the books i have on my kindle right now and i've only read one i've only read the housemaid but i tried now i got this kindle two days ago so and i'm currently reading my vampire is a roommate <laughs> my roommate is a vampire <laughs> so i'm actually loving it so far but i feel like maybe when i've used it a lot i would come back and tell you guys a proper proper review like tell you okay this is what i noticed this is not what i noticed but so far i'm loving it so that is that for the kindle this is my my little kindle design like i have the, the stickers i put they've moved okay so but this is my uh pop socket this particular pop socket i got on aliexpress then here i got from aliexpress also is this cute lady cute <laughs> i think she's very beautiful that was why i got her but there are uh, there's another reason why i got her but yeah that's one of them i got this cute lantern from ruby night on instagram yes this is how it looks like it comes on i can switch it off the lamp yeah it's really really cute i think it's really cute so yeah it looks good on my bookshelf now let's go to the books i got twin crown by katherine doyle and katherine weber honestly if you look at their names it's very very funny that they are both katherines but one is with a k and one is with a c that is actually really cute i heard that this book is about two yeah two sisters and one crown but when i read the blog it says that um one of the sisters grew up with the witches also and the other one grew up in the palace so it's like who is gonna inherit the crown sometimes i lie by alice finney this is a five star book for me it is a five like my jaw was like Woo. okay I was, I was supposed to say my jaw dropped but my jaw did not drop i was just confused as flip because what i will talk more about this in my wrap up but just so that this book was amazing it was so 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 crazy yeah plot twist was just twisting and twisting then i got someday maybe guys don't tell me tell me tell me this book is bright high actually i got this one which is the same book okay it's the same book i got this one this is the paperback, this is the hardback, but my friends, Kenny and Ore, they bought the hardback. So I was like, nah, I can't be left out of this equation. I have to also join the hardback community. Besides that, the hardback is much more beautiful than the paperback. So that's why I got this one. Now, we are reading it this month. We are supposed to have finished reading it, but as you can see, I am still in the beginning because, I don't know, it was... <sighs> 
I won't say the book is not good, but to be quite honest, I plan to finish it before the end of the month so I can actually give you guys a review, a proper, proper review. But to be quite honest, I was expecting something, but now that I know that what I was expecting is not going to happen, so I think I can now read it because now my eyes is open that okay, it's not like it's a spoiler, but the book is just about grief, okay? It's just about grief, a woman grieving because her husband killed herself. Even at the back, it says it was the greatest love of my life, despite his penchant for going in comicado. Yeah, the same. It was as far as I and everyone else could tell, perfectly happy. On New Year's Eve, he killed himself. And here is one thing you should know about me: I found him. Bonus fact: No. I'm not okay. Legend born and blocked mark, blood marked. You guys, a lot of people just rave about this so much that I'm like, okay, I need to read it. I think it talks about a teenage girl that has powers in some school and she's fighting for something. Yeah, yeah. But when you open this book, when you open this book and see how tiny the lighting, the writing is, can you see this? Who's gonna read it? <laughs> I need to summon up the courage to actually pick this up to be quite honest because they are so so tiny like I would appreciate it if the books were you know longer and had bigger fonts I'll be so happy there's a way bigger fonts just make you read you know yeah I forgot to show you guys I got six of crows and I got crooked kingdom I didn't get the two of them from the same vendor, but it was actually nice getting them. Uh, I had a lot of good things. One of my students was talking about this. That's about six uh, criminals. Then they are going on a quest together. And she was like, she's not going to tell me what this one is about. Because if she does, then it will be a spoiler for this one. So, yeah. At least the fonts are big. The 40 Rules of Love by Elif Shafak. This book is so, so pretty and it was actually very pricey too i don't know like it's so beautiful but i don't know what it is about so i've got it blind funny thing is i've never had anyone talk about it I, all i know is that i think i checked the reviews and the rating is very very high and a lot of people rated it i think so that was why i got it dancing in the dark the next one is the fling fling no the is a rom-com i got it because look at look at this pink and then yellow I don't know if that is a very good combination, but it's actually really beautiful. So that's why I bought it. I think they talk about maybe they are roommates or they are something. When I read it, I'll tell you guys what it is about. When we're fireflies by Abubakar Adam Ibrahim. This sounds like a Nigerian. Okay, yeah, he is a Nigerian. So the author is Nigerian. This is the book. Honestly, I don't know what the book is about. I have no freaking idea, but it's this is what i'm talking about like this is what i'm talking about when i say make it long and make it big no problem i will read it yeah it looks it looks so ah. do you guys see how floppy this book is so floppy <laughs> it's so freaking floppy it's very very good but now that i'm opening it i just saw that there are different colors look at red orange i don't know if you guys can see it yellow i think each color signifies like a particular yeah i i'm so intrigued by this book i honestly don't know what it is about but i would love to read it this is the list by yomi adego okay this book was actually very popular on instagram everyone was just you know buying it and there are different covers for it but when i saw ruby knight had it i just picked it up i think it says something about the woman is married to a man and then there was a secret that was leaked or there was like a tweeted something that is going to destroy our marriage or our life or something so i don't know the line on is still on it so i've not opened it yet wives are <laughs> wives are for rainy days side chicks are for the best days guys what kind of title is this by shoma rosemary madumari honestly you guys i read this yes i read it and i don't know if i've told you guys about it but i read it so it's about this lady um this man is egotistical is a womanizer and is everything red flag okay but he pretended and made this girl marry him she's three months pregnant and so you get to see how his mindset is and guy he has a lot of side chicks so the book is very short but i really enjoyed reading it i felt like the lady just suffered a suffering that she was not meant to suffer 
pearl. Guys, tell me. Let me tell you. Or you tell me. Don't you think this is cute? Don't you think this is pretty? I don't know what it's about. But the synopsis is very, very short. It says, The sudden death of Daniela's father, father threatens to throw her and the entire family into a tailspin. Oh, okay. But he left a precious gift behind for his princess, which comes in handy when all hope seems lost for her. Daniela summons unlikely hordes on her way to stardom, only to see her world shattered yet again without redeeming features. She has one more chance to make a comeback from the care ward of a psychiatric hospital. Oh my god. the font the font looks like it's for a kid the book looks so short i can let it read it in not five seconds aviara guys look at this cover by otsuke otsuke ominia boss yes i've read his odufa and if you've seen my review on that book guys that book stressed me the f out it stressed me so much it stressed me so much but i liked it <laughs> I liked it anyway so I, that's why i decided to try aviara and i got this at that at the pharmacy actually the last two books i got at the pharmacy so the other book is this one the middle daughter by chica unigwe kenny said that this book is very very sad and i want to cry i want a book that will make me cry like a thousand boy kisses made me cry so that's why i got them i don't know what it's about but the middle daughter the middle daughter i am the first and only daughter so i felt like that information was not necessary for you guys to know but anyway it's okay so those are the books i got i am so excited i'm so excited i'm so excited <laughs> i'll see you guys in my next video i think i'm gonna film my november tbr now so yeah stay tuned and i'll see you guys in my next video have a lovely day subscribe give me a thumbs up and i'll see you guys later deuces no deuces Mm, what else okay so i'm going to talk i'm going to... <laughs> again that's extra work for me when i'm editing but no problem